Hello YouTube, this is the Peroxygen here and I'm going to do a tutorial for you know using the mod manager, getting used to it and whatnot. Okay, let's begin. So you're going to go to your web browser. I prefer Google Chrome because it's just it's just better in every way. In my opinion, it's just faster. And then you're going to go to Skyrim Nexus. Okay. And some people, let me just minimize that. Some people like the Steam Workshop. Okay. And I'm going to show you here. Steam browse the workshop. Wait, let it load. All right. This is the Steam Workshop. It's almost the same except the Skyrim Skyrim Nexus has more mods. Uh, it's just it's better. Trust me. This don't use this. Use Skyrim Works. Um, Skyrim Nexus. My bad. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's go to the top one. I know. Actually, first, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to get a mod uh, mod manager because you can download everything. Um, you can download everything manually, but mod manager is like it's amazing. You can just quickly download. Let's just let's download everything. Let's just use this as an example. So when you're in this page, this is the description. Okay, all of this, you scroll down, you see the description. All of the stuff. It could have installation guide, it could have pictures, it could have a video right there. Okay, you go to the top. Here's the little tabs, okay? Tab one is obviously description. Tab two is files. That's all you're gonna need to worry about. Images are up here. Click on an image, it put the um, um zooms into it. Simple. Some some mods don't have images, okay? Um, try to go for mods that have a lot of downloads, total downloads and endorsements. Cause oh, oh shit, because those are the mods that that are more reliable, per se. So here's the downloads. Okay, you know, what? let me not use this one because this isn't a good example. I don't know why it's like that. Hold on. Let's see something I've already done. Skyrim Monster mod. This is a, this is actually. A, in my first video, if you haven't seen it, uh, one of the mods in my list of mods. If you haven't seen my first video, you should go check that out. Check that out. I have a link. I have a annotation right there, right about now. Okay. And all right, so, if you have this mod manager, which I'm going to show you right now, um, you can just press download manager, and it will say something else. Launch and do nothing. You're gonna press launch, and then it's gonna go to your mod manager. Let me just open it up right now. This is the Nexus mod manager. Beta, it doesn't matter. Okay, so here are your mods. Okay, there's plugins and mods. Don't screw with plugins. Just stay with the mods. Plugins or what wait from the Steam Workshop, they'll cut the pl the things you download and subscribe to on the Steam Workshop are gonna go inside your plugins. But mods is what's what, just don't worry about plugins, but some mods plug in some specific things. Just keep your eyes here. Okay, these are my mods. These are all on my description of my first video again. So you're gonna when you press download, it's gonna go to your download manager, which you just go to the top and click right there and it'll open up your download manager. And then what you're gonna do is you know it's gonna be it's gonna be downloading, blah blah blah. And then um it's gonna finish and it's it's gonna go here unchecked and then you're gonna click on it. And then you know, let me just show you as an example. Um, you click on something, you do the red arrow, and it deactivates. So it was successfully deactivated, and it has unchecked. Now you do it again here on the six number to activate it back. Blah blah blah, whatever. Just let me hurry up now. So then, design manually, it, you download manually, you get the wind roar, and then you have to extract it. That's much more difficult. This streams it does it for you. Okay, let's get on with this. All right, so you go to your mod manager, you go to download. I've already done this, but you're gonna press download now. And obviously, you don't need. I don't need to show you the rest. I already did it myself, so I can't really show you. But the rest is obviously, you know, it's simple. If you if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure you know how to do the rest. The rest is simple, just like any other thing. Download it, and then um, you're set basically. And if you have any problems, it's probably because you have way too many mods. You might want to just start deleting them slowly. And then until and ever ever mod you delete, go check your game, see if it works. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day.